Hey there. This week we're going to be talking about food program administration and also about the one week menu assignment. And the food program is something that can be a little bit confusing when you first start learning about it, but as you uh, get experience, you'll find that there is a formula to follow and if you follow that formula, it really will help you stay on track. The CACFP, Child and Adult Care Food Program, has been around for more than 50 years. And it is a way for child care centers and school programs to offer meals and then get reimbursed for um, their, their money that um, is spent on the meals. It's very particular, and that's why your assignment is so um, perhaps nitpicky because I want to make sure that you clearly understand the different elements that are associated with uh, developing a menu that would help meet the CACFP guidelines. I have an example here of a what's called a meal pattern and you'll notice on this meal pattern on the left hand side they explain what needs to be in each of those things. Now when you do your assignment you only need to have breakfast, lunch, and a snack but you'll want to make sure that you understand the serving sizes. In this particular menu, you'll notice they did not list serving sizes. So for instance, Tuesday breakfast, they list 1% or skim milk, raspberries, and Cheerios. For the purpose of our assignment, you are going to be listing how much would be expected to serve for each child in those areas. I want to make sure you understand serving size requirements. Also, on your menu you need to note what the age group is that you're gearing your menu toward. This is because there are different serving size requirements for each age group and I want to make sure that you have an understanding most people do preschool, but I want to make sure you have an understanding of what the expectations are. Finally, I want to show you an example of a menu that had some problems. So, for instance, if you look at the um, 8th, Wednesday the 8th, you'll see that in their menu they did not list that they were going to be serving milk. They were going to serve apple juice instead for the drink. That is not a reimbursable meal. So that means that everything that was served in that meal you could not get you could not get reimbursed for. If you went to submit this menu, you would get a note back telling you that they were not going to reimburse you for lunch on the 8th because you did not serve milk. This is why it's so important that you very clearly understand the elements that are required for each of the meals and also understand um, the serving sizes that are required. If you have any questions as you work on your menu, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm happy to answer questions. Remember, the key elements are going to be you need to tell me what age group you're focusing on. You need to tell me the items that are going to be served for each meal. And then you need to tell me the serving size. And all of those things are based off of the CACFP, <clears throat> excuse me, the CACFP food patterns. Don't hesitate to contact me and have a great week.